Hello, Church Without Walls family. My name is Zion Williams. And I'm Rashawn Williams. Welcome to the Bound to No Limits podcast. Hello, family. Welcome to the Bound to No Limits podcast. Today, I am here with Miss Brenda White. She works at the staff here at the Church Without Walls, and she is the Director of Ministries. And today we are going to be talking about the Family Matters Conference. Um, first, I want to ask you, Ms. Brenda, if you're excited for the Family Matters Conference. Yes, I am very excited about the conference coming up on September 15th mm -hmm. through the 17th. Great. Very excited. This is our third one. The third one. Um, so I can understand um, this is the third one. Um, but for some people, this may be their first one. Um, and they may look at the title and say Family Matters Conference and think I don't have, you know, kids or, you know, I don't have the typical family. Um, but there's more to Family Matters than that. So can you talk about what the true meaning behind Family Matters Conference is for and what it means? Um, family Matters Conference is about reaching and growing people in families because all of us came from a family right right and so uh, I'm I'm single no children no husband no pets and so I'm the one uh, who's like oh everybody come to the conference because you are born into a family but you can also make a family by the people you meet and the people you unite with God wants all of us to be in unity and in love right mm -hmm. so that could be with any other believer uh, that you know but the conference came about because we want to have people evangelize which is reaching people and then disciple people which is growing people right and so it's about reaching and growing people okay. and so what we want is if you go and hang out with your friends all the time and there's somebody who do not know Jesus Christ right so if, if they don't know where they're going to spend eternity you want to make sure that they do know where they'll spend eternity and you want to lead them to a relationship with Jesus Christ, right? And so as you're hanging out with them, you're not having a Bible thump all the time, but yeah. you can be the light because you're growing in the grace and knowledge, right? And so you want them to have that same relationship. So then when things start happening for them, they, they know where to come to so that they can handle those things uh, in the way Jesus would want them to handle them, right? And so if you're hanging out with your friends and you say, hey, I got this conference that we have at our church and it's going to be about uh, growing and developing and unity and, and food and fellowship and fun and all these things. And so you bring that person to the conference. They see what it's all about. Yeah. Experience the love of Jesus Christ at the conference. And then when the conference is over later, you're discipling them. So you're helping them to grow, talking about the scriptures and the sermons you heard and the things yeah. that you experienced at the conference. So reaching and growing people. Right. And right, you said unity and discipleship. That. Yep, all that's of great. That. That's mm -hmm. great, and all that comes just from the Family Matters Conference. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, yeah. I, I definitely and appreciate. it's based on all of what our pastor has taught. All of the, it's about four different sermon series that he taught mm -hmm. over the years about family, and some of them is so funny. The Family Matters series. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember it's one, two of the sermon titles. One was Living Single, okay. and one was What a Girl Wants. Mm -hmm. And they are very good uh, sermons. All of the sermons are good. But yeah. uh, So we got those from um, Pastor West's sermon series, and that's what we're studying at the conference, too. Okay, and you said that um, What a Girl Wants and Living Single was one of your favorite ones. But, um, and you also mentioned that you were single as well, correct? Yes. Um, so going into this conference, what is one thing that um, you can learn or that the conference will teach you about building your own family while being single, your own version of a family? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically what I was, I was saying earlier, you get to build because you meet people. Even at this church, I know a lot of single people and I know a lot of married people, but I have created family with those married people. For example, um, I have a friend that every holiday, mm -hmm. she's married with husband, children, and she'll say, are you going home for the holiday? And if I say no, they'll either bring a plate 
or a, a, a want you to come to their house, you get to sign the tablecloth that they do. I mean, you participate in everything that their family is participating in mm -hmm. because you don't have a family here, so they just invite us over. And so it's still all about, like I was saying earlier, uh, unity and love in the body of Christ. That's how God wants us to live, right? Yeah, in unity yes. and in love mm -hmm. with everyone. So that's the way I see it. Great. Um, so what are some of the classes that will be there to help us grow and equip us in our faith to be better disciples? Okay. So we have uh, several classes. We have uh, different workshops that we'll rotate. And so the first one is the communication. So whether you're single, young adult, married, a blended family, because we've got a lot of those, yeah. uh, single parents. But what we have is the communication piece. So that's the first workshop. You get to choose the demographic that you're in. Mm -hmm. And then the workshop would be on communication and communicating effectively because we know that's that can help everyone, right. Right? right? And so that's the first workshop. The second one, you get to choose physical uh, awareness, nutrition and health, and mental health is one of the, we have two actual workshops on that one they get to choose from. Also, there's a thing, um, I forget what is, I know Kamala Harris, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris yeah. was talking about it, for the women who are experiencing uh, in childbirth, how we don't get the proper care. Right. Got one session on that. But then the third workshop is on home buying, uh, resume writing and critiquing. Okay. Um, funeral wills, estate planning, all of that. I know people think that's morbid. Don't talk about funeral planning. But we need to do that. Yes. But we really yes. need to do that. Mm -hmm. Estate planning, investing, and budgeting, and all of that. So we have financial classes, real money, real options. And so we just kind of ran the gamut of everything in your life. We right. probably got it at this conference, so you can focus. That's and, wonderful. And, and um, I think that that work workshop aspect is, is amazing, too. Um, I know that you have mentioned some other aspects of it outside of the workshop to really engage people um, to actually fellowship with one another and for families to come together. Can you talk about some of the um, activities that are gonna happen outside of the workshops? Because it's not just gonna be, you know, sitting in the class, but yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so Friday night, we're starting off with uh, food demonstrations because mm. we come together over food, stories, and games. Yes. We know if yes. you, go to anybody's house, that's the main three things that they'll do, right? Right. So we're coming together um, Friday night at seven o'clock. We're going to have three ladies doing food demonstrations. Okay. And then we'll eat what they're demonstrating, not what they're actually cooking, because the food has to be already cooked with that many people, right? So in space is limited too, because we're like, oh, how many people gonna come? <laughs> so uh, we're gonna have a meal. And it's going to be a little bit of etiquette training in that. Okay. And then demonstrating how to, to prepare whatever they're preparing a whole, I think, three course with the dessert. Mm -hmm. And then um, they will actually show us how to, how to make it all and give us the recipes. And then we'll have at each table, we hope the families will blend together mm -hmm. so that they can have conversations around whatever we will have things on the table for them to talk about okay. and just enjoy each other and a few games and things like that and so that's Friday night okay. but then Saturday is a guest speaker some power talks and the power talks lead into the sessions after the sessions though we'll have entertainment I won't reveal what the entertainment is but we'll have a little bit of entertainment that will lead us into our obstacle courses and games for the family because it's competition the first year we did this, we had a gigantic trophy that the family who yeah. won all the different competitions won. And so we're gonna have a trophy for that family. We may not give it on that Saturday. Though. We may mm -hmm. wait till back to church Sunday, mm -hmm. which is that Sunday you bring everybody back to church, enjoy worship services together, and then we will uh, give the trophy there. Okay, so we have the okay. fellowship aspect, the entertainment aspect, and even the little competition game yes. aspect as well, yes. along with the workshops and with everything we're still um, creating family within yes. all of those things. Yes. And those were th those are the things that what makes a family. Yes. Yes, that's wonderful. Um, so how can you encourage young adults to come to the conference and be involved as well? I love young adults because I was one once. Right. <laughs> um, I would say there's a place for every 
body yeah. at this conference, every age mm -hmm. at this conference. And so I would ask young adults to grab a group of your friends and just come join in with the rest of us because we can learn. I always tell people you can mentor up and you can mentor down. Mm -hmm. So you can mentor down meaning age-wise, like yeah. on the spectrum, not like class. Mm -hmm. but. So you can mentor up and you can mentor down. So while I can learn something from you, you know, it's always people think you can learn from me, the older people, which we should, yeah. sit at the feet of the elderly and learn some things, but you can also learn from listening to a younger person too. Yeah. So you all have a lot to offer us. We have a lot to offer you. And if we're showing this unity and love together, that's the way I would say. You all should just come and let's unite together. Yes, yes. And I think that's also another um, big part that we're honing in on this conference is bringing people and um, bringing other families as well. And like you said, with the other young adults, um, that they can really learn from things and they don't always have to go into things alone. And I feel like sometimes as a young adult, things can feel very lonely. So I like the aspect of, you know, you're able to bring your other friends and, and people who are your are your family, especially when you move away from home and you can come and build and learn. So yes, yes that, that's wonderful. Yes. And it's a lot of things that you all, as young adults can learn. I was number 10 out of 11 children. So wow. I didn't have to experience everything for myself. Mm -hmm. I learned from their mistakes. Yeah. And so I would hope that we could teach you something so you can navigate this life mm -hmm. and not have to make some of the same mistakes that we did. Mm -hmm. When it comes to communicating, yeah. when it comes to your physical and mental health, when it comes to finances, investing and saving and budgeting, you know what I mean? And so I would hope that we could learn or teach you something mm -hmm about that and then we can still learn from you as well yeah. on anything i'm sure there are a lot of things that you know that i may not know of how things are going now the world for, is always you know, changing always <laughs> changing right so yes yes um so i definitely want to encourage all of you guys to be there at the family matters conference yes. i myself will be there at the conference and just to ensure that everyone registers can you please let us know how to register or where to go fmc tcww.org that's fmc.tcww.org wonderful i appreciate you again miss brenda for taking time out of your day and coming to sit with me and thank you guys for watching the bounce no limits podcast